economy. Let's talk more about mortgages because Sally Mitchell joins us, a business man manager and senior mortgage broker at the Mortgage Mum. So we're uh, getting some political reaction already, Sally. But can you take us through, for someone who has a mortgage in this country, what today's decision means? Well, it's, it's not as bad as... Um was potentially predicted by some. Um, I'm not surprised it went up a little bit, you know, 25 base points. Um, I think staying level at five was, was not going to happen. And of course, for anybody on a tracker mortgage or a variable rate mortgage, this is gonna hit them really, really quickly and, and quite hard. They're going to see their payments go up um, pretty much immediately. For anyone on a fixed rate, it doesn't make much difference until it's time to remortgage. And unfortunately, we've still got about 1.5 million people coming up to the end of their fixed rates, and they fixed at those lovely low, low COVID rates. So we're going to see that the pain um, be drawn out over the next 18 months or so. You know, We haven't even seen half of the people who will be affected coming forward. It's It's going to be an interesting 18 months. Let's hope that this is the nearly the peak. Sally, a lot of people, of course, don't have mortgages. They rent their properties. What does it mean for renters? Well, of course, the buy-to-let um, market has been just as much affected as the residential. So there are landlords out there who are you know, facing much, much higher mortgage payments per month. And they're in the business of you know, making money as an investment. So we're finding that tenants are having those costs passed on to them, which is putting extra pressure on their household income, obviously. Um, and it's also discouraging people from um, getting into the buy-to-let market. And a lot of landlords are, are finding that they are having to sell because it just doesn't make sense. That means that there's less stock. That means that um, you know, rent, rent prices increase. So it's it's a, a bit of a vicious, vicious circle, really. Thanks so much, Sally. We'll just return to Ludovic now in Munich. Ludovic, just one more question on the global picture. We've got uh, the US with its highest rates in 22 years. The ECB have also uh, had a record high with their rates. But with what Sally's just saying, there's hope here that we're coming to the end of this. Is that the feeling globally as well? Definitely. I think the, the, the worst 